just lift your hands and tell him thank you. Thank him for your light, for your family. The Bible says, Oh, give thanks to the Lord for God, his you are welcome to another awesome time his in God's presence. Endures, give God Lord. praise for so the no privilege to be alive. Lift up your voice and bless his name. God is good. Worship him. Adore him. Glory and honor. Be unto the name of the Lord. Father, we give you praise. La Shapalayata. Nebelebelebo, Zumana Namayada, Nezze Kayuda, Miki Bradege de Boschki Manusata, let the Lord take charge of our devotion this day. Let our glory be there and speak to us, for we hear you. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Exodus chapter 18, the Bible speaking from verse 13 and verse 14. And when Moses' father in law saw all that he did to the people, he said, what is this thing that thou do to the people? Why do you sit alone and all the people stand by you from morning unto evening? My emphasis today is, what is this thing that you do to the people? In other words, he was accusing Moses, why are you acting to the people in this manner? But my emphasis is also in verse 17 and verse 18. And Moses' father in law said unto him, This thing you do is not good. You will surely wear both you and these people. Who is with you? Now, if you look at verse 14, he accused Moses, What are you doing to the people? But in verse 17 and verse 18, he went on to emphasize that what you are doing is not good for yourself and for the people. Child of God, I want us to understand today that whatever you do to someone has a direct impact in your life. Whatever you say to someone has a direct impact in your life. We are being told, do to others what you want them to do unto you. Let's be conscious of what we do to people. Let's be conscious of what we say to people. Let's be conscious of what we think about people. The Father in law said, What you are doing will both wear yourself and the people. So, persons think, I can do anyhow. He, he, he's my support in it. My level is by far higher than his level. There's nothing he can do against me. Be careful of what you think. Be careful of what you say. Be careful of what you do. Whether you are subordinate, whether you are superior, no matter your level, please be careful. Be careful of what you think about others. Be careful of what you say to others. Because what you do to people will definitely come back to you. Somebody once said, you point a finger towards somebody, the other fingers are returning back to you. Life is see you later. Life is all about sowing and reaping. The persons that you are acting towards now in a negative way, you don't know where you will meet them tomorrow. You don't know who they will become tomorrow. The Lord is encouraging us this morning. We should be careful how we relate with others. Whether they do you good, whether they do not do you good, whether they do you well, whether they don't do you well, be careful how you relate with them. Bible speaking said, we should be as wise as serpents and harmless as dove. May the Lord give us the grace to receive this words today in the name of Jesus. As we step out, may the Lord give us the grace to be self-controlled. <laughs> we have always said, nobody has right over your reactions. They have right over their action, but you have right over your reaction. Let the Spirit of God suck your temper. So please, I, I have hot temper. Is that a thing to be proud of? You know, I, I don't know to keep quiet. Is that a thing to be proud of? There are times to speak and there are times to hold your peace. May the Lord help us this morning. Makapayadaba, lift up your voice. I begin to speak to the Lord. Lord, give me grace to be temperate in all things. Lord, give me grace to be quiet and to be still when I need to be still. 
Keep me close to speak. When I need to speak, ah, help me to be designing in the name of Jesus. May the Lord perfect all our desires this day in the name of Jesus. Go into your day and conquer. Go into your day and dominate. Go into your day and rule your world. You are blessed in Jesus' precious name. Amen.